We've talked about this group already, so we'll start in Group A. You've got Netherlands, you've got Senegal, you've got Qatar, and you've got Ecuador. That is obviously the first match we're going to see on Sunday between the host, the host country of, of Qatar and mm-hmm. Ecuador. We talked about it. The, the biggest storyline here seems to be Sadio Mane not being there for the game. That may define this group, right? I mean, right now, Netherlands, for good reason, is the favorite to win it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, abs- absolutely. And, you know, the funny thing is, you know, the Netherlands really do this thing where they're struggling in, in other tournaments and then they show up, right? In twenty in 2014 in Brazil, no one really expected to do what they did because they missed the Euros. And then they end up doing something like that. For me, I think they're just defensively one of the best teams in this tournament. I think they're by far the best defensive team in this group. Some people question where their goal scoring will come from, but I think Memphis Depay is enough, especially for this group too, right? And you mentioned this is the group that is deciding one game, and that's basically Senegal versus the Netherlands. And if the best player in the entire group isn't going to be playing in this, it's really going to take a massive effort for them to get a win in this. And if Senegal doesn't end up winning, I don't see how they win this group. I think Netherlands will take care of the other sides here, you know, Ecuador and Qatar. I I don't really see them as a threat. So if Senegal is going to be able to win this, uh, they're going to basically have to hope for, you know, a draw in this match, or they're going to have to win out in the other games and hope the Netherlands drop some points. But the likelihood of that happening is very low in my opinion. So I I would say that whoever wins this game wins the group. And that's pretty crazy to say, but that's kind of how it's going to have to go. And and again, for Senegal, do they have enough without Sadio Mane to pull off a win? They're going to have to play very defensive. They do are they do have one of the better center backs in this entire group as well in the entire tournament in Koulibaly. And, and again, they're AFCON champions. They've they've been to some of the toughest matches. So to say like they can't pull this off is anything outlandish. But again, it's just these two that could mm-hmm. win this group. I don't see Ecuador. I don't see Qatar doing this. And and even if they do advance, they're not going to be winning this group, right? Like mm-hmm. if you want to say like, oh, I'll take Ecuador to qualify, that's something that's okay as a long shot. But in terms of winning this, this is it's basically the only team with somewhat value is Senegal. But without Sadio Mane, I don't really see how that's going to happen. And you know, you mentioned an Afcon champs too. Let's. Let's get one thing out of the way is that Senegal does have a very strong squad regardless of if Mane is there. But you've said it a couple of times. He is the best player in this group. He's one of the most talented strikers in the whole tournament. And again, without him, even if he's able to go for the other two matches, that might make a difference. But with what Netherlands can do in their back three, especially with Van Dijk there, there are some questions about who is going to be, he's, who's going to be playing keeper for them. That has kind of been a point of contention. Um, but I kind of side with you here. I, I just don't think that Senegal has the firepower uh, if Mane can't go. Uh, j- just looking at some odds for this group. Again, we mentioned that Netherlands is the favorite. I'm looking at right now to advance. If you take it straight, Netherlands and Senegal, you can get it at plus 225. That's probably your best value. So you're not really seeing anyone challenging Senegal for that number two spot. And you're pretty locked in on Netherlands for the one, huh? Yeah, I mean, well, well, that's that's the beauty of it, right? Because if we, if we're too worried about all that juice that's on the Netherlands, like minus one ninety five, like that's, I would only take something like that if it's parlayed with another group or like another mm-hmm. team to qualify out of it. But you get that type of order right there because if you just strictly like the way I view things, if I just go through the group, okay, who do I like to advance? Netherlands and Senegal. Okay, we narrowed it down to two teams. Now we just have to talk about what we think is going to work in terms of the order of that. And we just mentioned if they don't have Mane, how are they going to score on that defense? Maybe there's a howler from the keeper, but if you're confident that it's Netherlands, Senegal, there's no reason not to take that Mm. plus 225, right? It's just, it's, it's something that your ideology aligns with and the odds are in your favor as well in terms of value. So you always jump on stuff like that. And if you lose, so, so be it, you still went with your instinct and your gut. Damn, you're still here? Good on you for making it to the end of this video. If you want to see the rest of this episode and more awesome content like The Drive with Jeff Feinberg, PGA Tour event, live golf event, does not matter, he has your best bets. Or how about if you need your NFL picks, The Huddle, Pam Maldonado, Pat Mayo, Ross Tucker, and Brian Matthews, your best bets, your best teasers, and everything you need to know that's going on 
in the NFL. Week in and week out, those are the places to be. Make sure you're subscribing on our social channels to know about our next giveaway. Like for November, 500 bucks on us. All you have to do is subscribe on YouTube to get one entry. And if you want to comment on any recent video, tell us how you spend those 500 bucks and you're automatically entered for a second entry. So get it done and let us help you make some money.